Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between John Jones and Conor McGregor. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. McGregor is 26. Jones is 33. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. All right, here now, the veteran voice of... All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is... Oh! so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. A heavyweight showdown between John Jones and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. So here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236. A monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out to round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight, was inspiring for anyone that likes peach martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of.
All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is two years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ready. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match or what? Well. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every promotion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh. He is getting lit up right oh. now, John. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. the nose. Nice combination there by Johnny Bones. Mike Wickeljohn always says we've only seen 30% of what he can do, maybe 35% after that beautiful combination. And that's insane to think that you're not seeing John Jones at his full potential with all that he's accomplished. He's a phenomenal athlete and a fantastic fighter. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Three minutes to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes 
realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226. Uh, but no, huge right hand. Wow, back to the feet. Oh, he's out. He's done. He's done. Woo! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest. Heavyweight showdown between John Jones and Donald Cerrone. If any modern era UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title, I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record book. And he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the rope, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then Coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboy Cerrone you've ever seen. And this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son, Danger. These are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone, trying to move one step closer here tonight. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped with the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Cerrone is four years his senior. Jones weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have an 11 inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's. 
Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world with respect to anywhere else you want to go. If I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas and now in this beautiful T-Mobile arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. And they're exchanging leather early. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big head kick. Nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title right behind him. On the man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Deep it looked like it did stun him a little bit.